In the midst of escalating tensions between New Delhi and Beijing, India has surprised everyone by successfully testing a Agni-5 missile. Agni-5 was successfully launched on October 27, 2021, meeting all of the goals for the test of the long-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile, reinforcing the country's indigenous missile capabilities and further bolstering the country's credible deterrent. What makes China concerned about India's Agni-5 missile? Indian intercontinental ballistic missile, Agni-5 is a cause of concern for China due to its firepower. The Agni-5 project was aimed at enhancing India's nuclear deterrence against China, which has missiles like Dongfeng-41, having ranges between 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers. It is capable of hitting its target at a speed of 29,401 kmph. And, India's Agni-5 is capable of striking a target more than 5,000 kilometers. It is widely regarded as a strategic missile targeted at China, as it can reach almost all parts of the Chinese mainland. Especially, it can burn major industrial cities of China to ashes. This missile is capable of dropping nuclear warheads, and its aim is accurate. The missile is about 17 meters long, 2 meters wide, and has launch weight of around 50 tons and can carry a warhead of around 1,500 kilograms, making it one of the most potent missiles in the country. Though officially, an ICBM needs a missile to have a range of at least 5,500 kilometers. The Agni-5 is India's closest contender for an ICBM. It can bring the northernmost part of China under its striking range. And also, it can reach countries across other continents, including parts of Africa and Europe. Chinese official media claimed that Agni-5 has a range of up to 8,000 kilometers, and therefore it is a cause of concern for China. Unlike the other Agni series missiles, the latest one, the Agni-5, is the most modern, incorporating several new technology in terms of navigation and guidance, warhead and engine. In the first Agni-5 trial, a number of innovative technologies developed indigenously were successfully tested. The redundant navigation systems, as well as the very high accuracy, ring laser gyro-based inertial navigation system, and the most recent and accurate micro-navigation system, ensured that the missile reached the target site within a few meters of precision. And with MIRV capability of Agni-5 will give India the much-needed deterrence. While single warhead missiles are generally launched against one target, the MIRV missiles can dispense warheads against multiple targets. India currently possesses the Agni series, which includes the Agni-1 with a range of 700 kilometers, the Agni-2 with a range of 2,000 km, the Agni-3 and Agni-4 with ranges ranging from 2,500 km to more than 3,500 km. Importance of Agni-5 for India Agni-5's agility is attributed to the fact that it is a canisterized missile. It means that the missile can be launched from road and rail platforms, making it easier for it to be deployed and launched at a quicker pace. While India is one of the few countries with arguably ICBM capabilities, the next version of the missile, Agni-6, which is now under development, is estimated to have a range of roughly 8,000 kilometers. And, in terms of hypersonic missile technology, which, just tested by China, India, is one of a few major contenders, working on it, even if it falls behind China, the US, and Russia. So, what exactly is a hypersonic glide vehicle, as tested by China? The Financial Times reported that, China had in August tested a new hypersonic missile, which is nuclear capable, while China denied the report claiming it to be a spacecraft and not a missile, it demonstrated the capability in hypersonic glide vehicle technology, which raises strategic concerns, not just for its neighbors, like India, but even its rivals like the US. So, first, we must understand what is hypersonic weapons. 
Hypersonic weapons are often defined as fast, low-flying, and highly maneuverable weapons that are too fast and agile for standard missile defense systems. A hypersonic missile travels at speeds of Mach 5 or higher. The term hypersonic describes any speed faster than five times that of sound, which is roughly 760 miles or 1,220 kilometers per hour at sea level, meaning these weapons can travel at least 3,800 miles per hour. Hypersonic weapons, unlike ballistic missiles, do not follow a fixed arch trajectory and can move on their route to their target. There are two main types of hypersonic weapons, hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles. Hypersonic cruise missiles which operate similarly to existing subsonic cruise missiles are powered by scramjet engine and are limited to below 100,000 feet or 30,000 meters. While a hypersonic glide vehicle is launched by a rocket which moves in the Earth's lower orbit at more than 5 times to 25 times the speed of sound. The vehicle is capable of carrying nuclear payloads, which gives the launching country the strategic capacity to attack almost any target across the world. How is hypersonic glide vehicle different from an ICBM? An ICBM has a parabolic trajectory, which means it travels up and then falls down in a high arc. Russia, the United States, China, France, India, the United Kingdom, and North Korea are the only countries that have operational ICBMs. Whereas, a hypersonic glide vehicle orbits the Earth at a lower height and is maneuverable. The ability to change track or target in the middle of a trajectory, along with the speed, makes them more difficult to monitor and defend against. Hypersonic missiles can avoid radar detection for longer than ballistic missiles. Hypersonic missiles can fly at speeds ranging from 5,000 to 25,000 km per hour, making them six to more than 25 times faster than current commercial aeroplanes. Hypersonic missiles have a number of advantages over subsonic and supersonic weapons particularly in the pursuit of time-critical targets, for example, mobile ballistic missile launches, where the additional speed of a hypersonic weapon is valuable. Hypersonic missiles have both offensive and defensive capabilities. Russia already has avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicle, and it has has reached a staggering 33,000 km per hour during tests. Also, in July, it successfully tested the Zircon, which is a ship-launched cruise missile, said to be capable of striking both ground and naval targets. The impact of hypersonic weapons on national security. Traditional platforms such as cruise and ballistic missiles have been around for a long time, allowing the world's leading military powers to develop significant capabilities to detect and intercept them. However, by combining the speed of ballistic missiles with the stealth of cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles provide the ability to avoid such anti-missile defenses. Hypersonic weapons have the potential to nullify existing missile defense systems, to destabilize military balances abroad, and to heavily alter deterrence strategies. Even the United States is not equipped to deal with the threat posed by hypersonic weapons due to their high speeds, maneuverability, and the low altitudes at which they fly. Therefore, China's nearly successful test has caused concern among military countries across the world. The issue of detection and interception of hypersonic weapons is further complicated by their maneuverability. A hypersonic vehicle's target can be changed mid-flight, which, compounded by hypersonic speeds, makes early detection difficult to impossible. China, the US, and Russia have the most advanced capabilities, and several other countries are investigating the technology, including India, Japan, Australia, France, Germany, and North Korea, which claimed that it successfully tested a new hypersonic missile called Hwasong-8. Apart from China, US, Russia, India have also been developing hypersonic weapon technology. India is also working on hypersonic missiles and hopes to have one by 2025. 
On 7 September 2020, DRDO had successfully test-fired hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, making it only the fourth country in the world, after the US, China and Russia to develop and test the technology. India is also working on a hypersonic version of the BrahMos-2 cruise missile. Is it possible to stop a hypersonic missile? Right now, deterrence is the only way to defend against hypersonic missiles. However, effort has been put into figuring out how to defend against enemy HCMs and HGVs. The Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA of the United States, is currently developing the Glide Breaker, also known as the Hypersonic Weapon Killer. DARPA awarded Northrop Grumman $13 million to study defense against hypersonic weapons. DARPA wants to test systems capable of countering hypersonic weapons as they zip through the atmosphere at more than five times the speed of sound. Glide Breaker could be used against new Russian and Chinese weapons, including Moscow's new Mach 27 avant-garde hypersonic missile.